I said that right in the beginning of the show. I am in absolute tech heaven. The iPad mini, the Microsoft Surface with RT and the Asus Pad phone. Now, each of these could be a show of their own. We put it all together. Why? Because we're still in our Diwali spirit. More importantly, I have Varun Krishnan with me, and he's the editor-in-chief of Phone Arena. I'm going to start off by talking to him about the iPad mini. Varun? As soon as you get this in your hand, it's a whole different feeling. Like you and me were discussing off camera. When you read about it online, when we heard about the launch, we were all kind of, yeah, yeah, it's okay. But once you get this in your hand, this is awesome stuff. I mean, this is the thinnest, lightest, most incredibly portable tablet ever, right? Yes. So when the news came out of the iPad mini, I wasn't convinced that I'll be getting one because I already have the old iPad. Uh, so I wasn't convinced. But I walked into a store, I picked it up in my hands, and... I wasn't going back without buying good, one. Right? So it's basically, uh, basically it's a lot lighter, a uh, lot slimmer, yeah, yeah, and it's a lot more portable. Man. It's, it's, it's a lot lighter, a lot slimmer, and nobody in the world can do this with an iPad, right? This is that iconic shot that you can actually hold it in your hand and like, it's so easy for me. I mean, anybody can hold this unless you've got very dainty fingers and a very small hand. Otherwise, anybody can hold it like this. That means you can type like this. But right now, let's take a quick look at the iPad mini. It's here, it's small, it's light, and it's shockingly good. Apple stepped into the 7-inch tablet market to steal the small crown with its iPad mini. The Apple iPad mini is thinner and lighter, but is it worth twice the cost over the Kindle Fire HD and Google Nexus 7? Once again, Apple pulls off another device with true minimalism and stunning looks. It's thinner than the big iPad at 7.2 millimeters and it weighs 308 grams. It definitely feels light in the hand, quite portable indeed. Unlike the 7 inches, Google Nexus 7 and the Kindle Fire HD, the iPad mini has a larger screen of 7.9 with a resolution of 1024 by 768 pixels. That, to many, is the biggest disappointment because it's a lower grade screen to almost all of its competition. But we found it was pretty good. The Mini is powered up by the dual core A5 processor which runs on the iPad 2 as well. The iPad Mini also supports Siri and it's also the only iPad to support a nano SIM. The back facing 5MP iSight camera is similar to what we've seen on bigger iPads while the front camera is only rated 1.2MP. The claim is that it will still pull off a 720p HD video recording. Apple does have the advantage over the other 7 inches available in the market. There are about 275,000 apps that are made for the iPad, which, thanks to the screen ratio and resolution, work very well on the Mini. Whereas the other tablets face the problem of scaling the apps down. The iPad Mini is smaller, thinner and lighter, offering a better mobile experience. It's definitely more premium, but there isn't exactly anything wow about it. Still, the form factor makes it so much easier to carry that we still think this is the iPad to buy from here on. The iPad Mini is expected to come to India next month and it's likely to be priced between 19,900 and 21,900 for a 16 GB Wi-Fi model. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.